it's Mike Les again, and I am back in Anawan, Illinois, in a versatile RT520 combine with the Gearinghoff 12 row corn head. Getting some uh, corn in here late in November, mid November. Uh, corn is uh, going down, but uh, anyways, out here is some corn that's running about uh, 13, almost 14% moisture somewhere in there, and this corn's yielding over 200 bushel an acre, but uh, combines. Uh, been up here running uh, for over a week now, doing really well, and uh, glad to be back here and running it again. And I'm out here at McCune Farms near Mineral, Illinois, and all kinds of excitement for you here as they harvest their corn crop. And a good mix of equipment here, several different brands you'll see in this video. Of course, to kick the video off, there I was running uh, Versatile. RT520 combine with which had a 12 row Gearinghoff corn head on it and they also have their John Deere S690 out here with a 12 row corn head gonna line both combines up here and get some good drone shots of both combines going down the field So in this video, uh, of course, you're going to see the two combines I just mentioned, and there is the New Holland T9 390 tractor pulling a Kinsey 1050 grain cart. Uh, McCune Farms also has their Versatile 310 out here pulling a Brent 1080 grain cart, and they also have a Case International Magnum, a 7120, pulling a Brent 782 grain cart. They are hauling this corn back to the farm and all their bins were full so they are filling bags now and at the bagger that you'll see at the end of the video is another Case International 7120 tractor on a Loftness bagger. This farm also owns a Versatile Delta Track 550 that was out pulling a Case IH 875 disc ripper. Uh, it was dark before I was able to get out there and get any video of it. This is the farm last year where the Versatile Delta Track was pulling the 14 bottom plow, sulfur plow, so you can go back on my YouTube channel, check that video out. And I also have another video here on the YouTube channel of the 520 Combine in corn at a neighboring farm, uh, where I talk about the changes of the RT520 over the 490. So uh, definitely, if you have not seen that, go back and check that video out, where I explain the differences in the combines. So it was mid-November here as I was shooting this video and had some down corn in the field and stuff. Uh, RT520 Combine did great. Uh, you know, as far as keeping up with the 690, no problem there. Uh, of course, the 690 is a Class 9 and the uh, 520 is a Class 8, but uh, handled the 12-row corn head real good. Did have a couple challenges there when I hit some of that real bad down corn. And, uh, of course, didn't get that on video. Had too much else going on. <laughs> to uh, be filming and uh, trying to pick up down corn. But uh, anyways, uh, great November day out here, a little chilly, ground was still uh, froze over with a little bit of mud breaking through in some spots, but these guys are trying to get their corn harvest wrapped up and it was a good day for that. And the selling dealer for Versatile up in this area is Anderson Enterprises out of Anawan, who is doing a really good job for Versatile. So I shot this video on November 15th, and of course I'm editing it here now on uh, November 29th and 30th, and as I edit this, I'm told uh, this area got quite a snowstorm the other day, uh, lots of snow, high winds, and this farmer was able to pull in a couple other neighboring farms that were done harvesting, and uh, six combines running in some of the same fields getting a corn crop off. That would have made quite the video, but uh, missed out on that one, but still, two combines, Three tractors and grain carts all run in the same field. Makes for a good video. Uh, this farm and this area have had a lot of good video opportunities here in the last year. So appreciate that. And I am going to turn it over now. Got about 14 more minutes left in this video. So let you listen to the sound of the machines going through the field. And one more thing in the background there. And now you can see it. Uh, John Deere 8R tractor point a strip till bar. This was a neighboring farm. I uh, do not have the model number of the tractor. I didn't zoom in close enough. I don't even know if this guy knew I was spying on him, but I just flew over, got a little footage of this. So that's a little bonus footage for the video. Again, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned. Still have a lot more uh, good stuff coming to YouTube for you.